نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الکریم اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقه قولي واجعل لي وزيرا من اخلي اللهم فقهنا في الدين امين ثم امين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سورة الحمزة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويل لكل حمزة اللمزة ويل This is a noun and as we can see there are two pesh above the L and this means it is a common noun while has different meanings the first meaning is woe another meaning is it? it it means destruction absolutely total damage and well also means and refers to one of a very deep ditch or pit of the hell fire so allah is warning against a punishment or torment in the form of veil saying wailulli kulli wail is for whom li for kulli for everyone for everyone who is what humaza tilumaza humaza is as you can see is a slanderer and lumaza is a backbiter now humaza and lumaza actually refer to a person who is ill-mannered and a person who is making fun of mocking and taunting people and he is ill-mannered humaza is a person who does all this slander and backbiting the humaza does all this openly in public in front of people and doesn't conceal it and he does it or humaza is a person who does it by word of mouth in contrast to that lumaza is a person who does all this not in public and he does it secretly behind the back concealing his all these ill-mannered conversations and lumaza is also the one who is not doing it by word of mouth but he is a person who is doing it by the gesture or the movement of his eyes so allah says wailu likulli humaza til lumaza for the slanderer and for the backbiter and for whom else allazi the one who does what jamaa Jama'a means who collects, who gathers what? Malan, wealth. And does what? Wa addada. Wa means what? And addada. Ain dal dal means to count. Adad means the numbers, the digits. And counts who? What? It. the who is a pro, uh, the who is a pronoun for the mal and he counts it yahsabu ha sin ba hasaba means to think to assume to believe and to imagine so he thinks he assumes anna that for sure that definitely malahu his wealth who is a pronoun which is pointing to whom to the person who is collecting the wealth and the person who is doing what adada so his wealth will do what ahlada ahlada the root word is kha lam dal and hold means something which does not perish which stays forever which the is uh, like immortal 
So Ahlada means will make him immortal. Who is the pronoun pointing towards the person who thinks that the wealth will make him what? Ahlada who? The wealth will make him immortal. Allah negates saying, Kalla. Absolutely not. Definitely not. La yumbazanna. Now the root word here is noon ba dal. Nabada means to throw away a thing or to discard a thing, thinking that it's not important or thinking that it is not vital or considering something totally unimportant and unwanted, a thing is discarded and we, we say that nabada. Now lam zabar la means what? For sure. Definitely. And especially it becomes more uh, definite when there is a noon with a shad in the end also. So Allah says what? And for sure. Definitely. He will be, he will be thrown. Where? Fi in al hutama. Hatwa mean means crushing and grinding into fine particles and pieces. Hutama is the pa is a name of a part of the hellfire where the inmates of the hellfire will be crushed and they will be grinded. Rabbanasrif anna azaba jahannam inna azabaha qana gharama inna hasad mustaqarrum wa muqama. So this person who is the Humaza and Lumaza and who collects his, ma, uh, collects his wealth and he thinks that it will be a source of immortality for him, Allah says, that he will be thrown in the Hutma, the place of the hellfire where the things will be crushed. Wa ma adraka wa and ma what adraka. Adra means what you know, what you understand, what you comprehend, and what you can relate. So, Wama Adraka, what will you know? And what can you relate? And how much can you comprehend? Mal Hotama. Ma means what? What is the Hotama? Narullahi. Fire of Allah. It is like what? Al Muqada. The root word is wow, kof, dal. Wakada means to lighten up the fire, to kindle the fire, and muqada means kindled. So it will be the fire of Allah which will be kindled by the order of Allah. And this is what? This is the definition for hutama. So now let me revise the verses. From the start all over again. Allah says, Wailun, woe, or what? The one of the lowest or the deepest ditches of the hellfire. For whom? Likulli, for everyone who is what? Humasa lumasa, slanderer or the backbiter. Allahzi, the one who jama'a collects malan, wealth, wa addada, and counts it. Yahsabu, he thinks, Anna, that for sure, Maluhu, his wealth, Ahladahu, will make him what? Immortal. Kalla, definitely not, absolutely not. La yumbazanna, for sure, definitely he will be thrown, fil khutama, in the khutama, in the crusher. Wama adraka, and what do you know and what can you comprehend? Mal khutama, what is khutama? Narullahil muqata, it is the fire of the Allah which has been kindled. Allahumma ajirna mina nar. Allahumma ajirna mina nar. Allahumma ajirna mina nar. ربنا لا تزع قلوبنا بعد إذ خديتنا وحب لنا من لدنك الرحمة إنك أنت الوهاب آمين سمامي